Like, so black people, we ain't too adventurous when it comes to drugs. Yeah? Obviously, the main thing is weed, cannabis smoking, pot, yeah? Spliff, zoot, whatever, in it, boom. Black people, that's our thing, yeah? Bunning weed, in it, yeah? Of recent times, it's young people, though, because the weed thing is more of a, just a, a cultural thing, yeah? Like, it, there ain't no specific age on it, yeah? Don't get it. I don't expect to see some night year old great grandma burning weed, but the the weed thing is more yeah, there's no real age on it. But there's one new thing of recent times. And I hate when I see them in the road, the little canister things. You know them little balloons things. It's got black use all doing that nonsense. But I hate when I see them because it, I'm a bike rider, innit? And if I go over that, but that that can make a bike spin out the back wheel and that's all about. Man, them that doing this balloon thing need to stop that foolishness, whatever. Isn't it? Can't. Leaving them things there in the road, man could have an accident on that, whatever. Isn't it? But yeah, so black people, it's more the weed thing. Skunk, cannabis, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, and if we're going to be a little bit adventurous, we're going to, uh, not me, but they're going to do balloons, it's nonsense and that, innit? Yeah. Uh, let me do mention though. There was a lot of black people in the 80s who did crack. Because I know certain people who are like 50 years old and they're still on the rocks now. Yeah, man, all 56 pushing their 60 years old and they're on the rocks now. Yeah, so let me throw that in there. Yeah, there was a lot of black people in the 80s doing crack and that um, in the UK. But anyway, so black people, the main thing is cannabis and then you got some little youths doing balloons and that. White people is all of the above and more. Yeah. <laughs> you got man sniffing glue, yeah. You got man doing speed, coke, crack, heroin, horse tranquilizer, which is ketamine. There's man out here abusing painkillers. It's like anything they can get their hands on to get them high, they will. Petrol nail varnish remover everything and anything is nonsense man nonsense nonsense and trust me solvent abuse is bad that will fuck you up the other day i was spraying some glue i was in my flat laying the carpet and i was spraying spraying some glue and i think myself how can people get high off of this stuff because i felt like it was in my throat i felt like i could taste it and it's people that will put glue in a bag and sniff it that will fuck up all your insides and, and that and a man are abusing that my man can't just stick to weed you know i'm not I'm, look, i ain't put, i ain't promoting no drug use or nothing like that in no way shape or form but black people we ain't adventurous with drugs uh, white people they do everything Coke. Now they can't do coke on the table. No, they have to go into a dirty fucking toilet and sniff coke off of a fucking toilet seat as well. Yeah, I think that just how it enhances the effect or something like that. Yeah. They do every fucking drug on. How are you doing horse tranquilizer, bro? You're an 80, 80 kg, uh, 12, 13 stone human being, and you're trying to do a drug that is meant to put what, a 300 kg animal to sleep? You're a third of that animal's weight, maybe even a fifth, maybe horses weigh 500 kg, I, I doubt it, don't it? But yeah, and you're doing that. Ket ketamine, I think it's cool, yeah. Horse tranquilizer called ketamine. You must be going mad, fam. You think I'd ever, ever do any of them kind of drugs, like horse tranquilizer? I bet if a man could get his hands on whale tranquilizer, he probably would try it. Crystal meth. That's supposed to be the world's most dangerous drug, you know. I saw a um, program about that, but this was years ago. A man was like eight or ten years old. So what, we're talking like oh one, oh two. Crystal meth was one of the most dangerous drugs in the world, but um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not too, too sure if it is now, something else has replaced it because there's all there's always some new drug that's on the market that's replacing. Think about 
yeah. Heroin's a bad one though, because it's, it's the effects you get when you know when you don't have it, the withdrawal symptoms and that. Man. So yeah, he's saying that yeah, talking about the balloons, dumb, 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 glue. How the fuck do you pronounce that? Yeah, the wet house. Yeah, 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 yeah. So the wet house is one program where they have um, alcoholics uh, in like a hostel. And then there was one girl doing glue out of a bag. Yeah, yeah they were mash up still, man. But yeah, crystal meth and that. Why, why would you want to be doing cocaine? Imagine a man really like, you know, you see Scarface. My man's got his head in the fucking pile of, 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 of cocaine. Come on, man. Why do you want to be doing that, man? It's embarrassing, man. It's embarrassing, man. I guarantee you, if a man could do gunpowder, he probably would. If a man could get high off gunpowder, he would get high off gunpowder, man. Yeah, solvent abuse is bad, though. That's not no fucking joke, man. You're inhaling things that come from a science lab, basically. And to be fair, if anyone's ever smoked crack, crack's got like a, like a chemically type of smell, like, like something that you would smell in a, in, a, in a science lab. Once you smell crack once or twice, you never forget that smell. And then when you, you don't smell it for a long time and you smell it, after a year or two or something, you're like, oh, I remember that smell, that's crack. Man said, get high off tea bags. I think, yeah, I'll, if I was going to get high off, I'd probably be tea bag. I man drink about three, four, five cups of tea a day sometimes, you know, so, yeah. Nadia is my personal tea maker. 